Certainly had to dodge some raindrops, but overall, there is no doubt everybody had a great time as they always seem to do. And you almost have to have a little rain out there on the Shamrock Run, don't you? I mean, that almost always happens, Joseph, every single year. And it's celebrated. That's that's part of the fun. Yeah, sure is here in the Pacific Northwest. We don't mind it. We could run in just about anything. And that was just wonderful video. It sure seems like they had a, a good time. This morning was the wettest and the windiest part of our day. Now we've kind of smoothed things out just a little bit. It's gloomy. And there's still some showers out there, but the wind is not going to be as intense as we head into this evening. Hope you've had a wonderful weekend so far. We've had a little slice of sunshine that was yesterday morning, and the rest of this weekend has been a bit gloomy. There's Portland zoomed on in. There's some very light rain over the metro area right now. A, &A, uh, a view of the gloomy clouds there, but also a wet ground. Seaside, some showers have been in and out throughout the day. And then meadows where we've had snowfall. We've collected a good amount over a half a foot of snowfall. Hey, the sunset today is at 714 now since we did spring forward. Too bad it's going to be a little too cloudy to really enjoy it. But the good news is we do not have another sunset before 714 until September. So we're really going to start working in the other direction as we get to the first day of summer there. That sunset is at 9 p.m. and we bring in about 15 hours of daylight. Actually approaching about 16 hours. All right, here's the radar. I told you there's some very light rain over areas of Portland. The coin tower up to Big Pink. Here's downtown. You can see uh, we have 405 just to the west, I-5 extending up to the north there. So very light rain coming over the west hills at this hour. Very, very patchy. That's about it. As I mentioned, the heaviest rain occurred earlier in the morning. We'll have another round as we go into our Monday. I'll extend it and pull it out. You can see the system right here. This is going to be a weak atmospheric river that is going to uh, reach the Pacific Northwest as we go into our Monday. More so the front that's associated with this is going to move in later in the day. So that's when I'm expecting some of the heavier rain. But consistent and steady rain for the Northwest Oregon coast is likely to begin early uh, tomorrow. All right, we have temperatures in the 40s and the 50s, and we have some 40s in Bend. We have some 40s in Baker City. Pendleton, 51 yesterday. Their high was in the 70s. That's why they're 20 degrees cooler in the 24-hour temp change. Yeah, we're about the same as where we were at this time yesterday. The observed peak wind gusts today, almost 30 miles per hour. That's what we were anticipating. So we got really close at 28 miles per hour. Right now we're running about 5 to 10, maybe about 15 miles per hour. The south, southwest, and the Oregon coast, very similar. The wind gust forecast will keep us down to about 10 to 15 miles per hour, settling down as we go into tomorrow. Ski report showing that fresh snowfall up on the mountain, 10 inches for Timberline as well as Meadows. A half a foot for Ski Bowl and Bachelor are just about the same. The snow level forecast keeps us right around the passes over the next day or two uh, with plenty of snowfall to receive. So that's good news. All right, future cast as we go through the overnight hours, we get to early tomorrow morning, just some spotty showers. That goes for the afternoon too. But then here comes the evening as the front moves in. This is going to be that heavy rain that sticks around for most of the second part of Monday and into maybe early Tuesday morning. More just kind of scrappy showers that are very scattered as we go into our Tuesday. All right, let's take a look at that seven day forecast. Wednesday should be mainly dry with some sunshine, some sun breaks. Thursday for St. Patrick's Day, 53 with scattered showers. Friday, similar forecast, but warmer at 58. We'll be hovering in the mid 50s most of the week with overnight temperatures in the 40s. A lot of rain this week, Wayne, and, and we'll take it. A lot more rain, a lot more sunlight as well. So That's we'll true. take, well, not sun, but hey, we'll take it. Yeah. Light. When we come back, 